Hello. Hello, Canada. Uh, I turned 29 this year. I got into a car accident in South Carolina, my 29th birthday. It, it sucked. Mostly because I was in a car with three strange women, and I think I had a good shot at the girl that was in the back seat with me. But once the car accident happened, it threw my whole momentum off. <laughs> it's hard to get your game back going once you're in the ER for 12 hours. You can't pop out. So where were we? I wasn't driving, other people failed. My mistake is that I wasn't wearing my seatbelt because I was in the back seat. I don't wear my seatbelt when I'm in the back seat because I guess the car doesn't annoy you into safety like it does in the front seat. In the front seat, the car is yeah, 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 yeah. But in the back seat, the car is, you feel like gambling? <laughs> Let's do it, double or nothing for your life. I didn't even see the accident happening. I just woke up hurt in the ambulance. That's how rappers say ambulance. Y'all say, shot him five times, put him in the ambulance. No, it's ambulance. Ambulance, 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 ambulance. Stop saying it like that. I pulled out my health insurance card right away. That's a must in the States. Hey, I have health insurance. This ambulance ride shall be reasonable. <laughs> I get to the ER. I'm laid out bloody. I hadn't been treated yet. I was out there doing shows with another comedian, Aziz Ansari. He gets to the ER. A male nurse sees him. Holy shit, is that Aziz? Oh, man, I'm a huge fan. Parks and Recreation, funny people. 30 minutes of that. Oh, is he? Yeah, man, he was in all of those things. But look, I'm starring in a reality show called Dude Bleeding Out of His Head right now. <laughs> so I need you to kindly turn down your fandom and be a medical professional, because I'm fading in and out. <laughs> so I get my nurse. Her name was Jill. She was so country, she could have been an extra in a Bubba Sparks video. <laughs> That's our country. She was, my name is Jill. They call me Jill Billy. Uh, you might be too country to treat me, Jill. I don't mind if you Southern, but I don't want you to have a thick Southern country accent if you're giving me medical treatment. Sir, can I help you with something? Yeah, you can go get me somebody that doesn't talk like you. And you can go get me some biscuits and barbecue talking like that, Jill Billy, beat it. Give me some sweet tea too. Don't touch my face. And I was cursing a lot because I was really upset. My head was split open. I was drunk. It was my birthday. I was, I was snapping out. Fuck this! This sucks. I'm in South Carolina. My head split open. Fuck! I wish I was in a real state right now. Shittiest birthday ever. Sir, enough profanity. Hey, shut the fuck up, Jill Billy. I got health insurance. I'll curse as much as I fucking want. <laughs> Sir! There are other families in here. Oh, so my cursing is ruining their emergency room experience? <laughs> Because it's usually such a pleasant place. Oh, how was the ER for you, man? Well, the staff was very attentive to my dad's gunshot wounds. The facilities were top-notch, but what ruined it was the guy in the next bed that kept saying, motherfucker. <laughs> so now I got this scar right here, and I don't really like it. But some people say, oh, scars are cool. No, scars are cool when you got a cool story. My story sucks. I wish my story was cool. How do, how'd you get that scar? Man, it was this dude downtown trying to stab babies. <laughs> and I jumped in front of one of the babies. He stabbed me. <laughs> Instead, a baby got saved. I'm a hero. You should honor me. Buy me some shots. <laughs> but my story sucks. Hannibal, how'd you get that scar? Man, I was drunk. South Carolina trying to fuck this fat girl. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't die how Hannibal died. Hanging out with some girl. Let me see a picture of the girl. Ooh, tough way to go out. <laughs> tough way to go out. Rest in peace, Hannibal. I've been involved in two robberies in my life, both on the victim side. They got handled in different ways. One when I was 23, one when I was 13. When I was 23, I was walking in a bad neighborhood in Chicago. A guy walked up behind me and says, give me all your money or I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. I'm gonna shoot the shit out of you. Yo, you wanna shoot shit out of me? Blood isn't enough for you? You overachiever? But I just gave him my money because I only had $3. Yo, here's the $3. I don't know what you're saving up for, but it's gonna be slow motion for you. <laughs> he never even showed a gun, but I didn't think it was worth it to call his bluff. Looking back on the story, I don't think he had a gun. That'd have made things interesting if I asked. Hey, I'll give you my money. Can you show me the gun, please? You know what, man? That is a good question. I actually don't have a gun. I was trying to get through this on tone of voice and intensity. 
Good question once again. Never mind on this robbery, you be safe out there, man. <laughs> but that's how I handled that 23, very passive. When I was 13, me and my friend Ken were walking to this building. Out of nowhere, this kid rides up on us on a bike and says, do I know y'all? But I didn't have my glasses, so I was squinting there like, nah. Nah, man, I don't think we've ever met before. But it seems like an aggressive way to go about meeting new friends. Do I know y'all? What is your favorite video game? I love Sour Patch Kids. But he sold a gun and says, give me your money. And my friend Ken, he just kept walking into his building like a robbery wasn't happening. Now, hey, Ken, this dude is robbing us. I guess just me now. <laughs> Even then, Ken knew the secret. If you put out into the universe that a robbery isn't happening, then a robbery isn't happening. <laughs> so as me and this kid, he says, give me your money. I said, I don't have any money. He says, give me your watch. And at the time, I had this Arizona brand watch that my sister bought me for my birthday. Estimated value, $20, but it's not about that. I like that watch, and he never pulled his gun out. So I had my watch, I was fiddling with my watch. Just looking at him, fiddling with the watch. Looking at him, fiddling with the watch. Looking at him. Bop, punched him in the face and I ran off. It was a good punch too, I knocked his ass clean out. His bike tire was spinning and everything. That's how good of a punch it was. So it got around the neighborhood that I did that, and people were saying, Hannah, you shouldn't have done that. You should have just gave the kid your watch. And no, he should be better at robbing people. <laughs> because he let one person walk away slowly, <laughs> the other one punched him in the face while he had a gun. He's a fucking loser. Hey, good night, y'all. Thanks a lot. Well, I'm talking industrial pudge, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I mean, like the kind of person buys high heels, wears them once in their slippers. <laughs> big, big, big. Cause you never, you know, that's my friend and everything, but you never know what Kanye is gonna come up there and say. You know what I mean? He might just jump on stage in the middle of the ceremony. Be like, hey yo, Nick, I'm really happy for you fam, but Jay and Beyonce had the greatest wedding of all time. <laughs> <laughs>